Shane Dawson and Garrett Watts actually started off as a Tinder match, and they ended up being one of the most well-known friendship groups on YouTube. Garrett built his own really successful YouTube channel, and Shane Dawson fans instantly fell in love with his personality and his content. Eventually, Andrew came along and then Morgan, and they quickly became one of the most well-loved friendship groups on the platform. Oh, well, this is me, Garrett, and Andrew. <laughs> We're Shane and I. <laughs> this is you and Shane. <laughs> this whole thing. Morgan kind of looks like a diva right now. Oh, you do look like a diva. Whoa, what the Gucci is like. I don't want to die like this. <laughs> They'd be like, Shane Dawson died with four clowns. <laughs> Oh yeah. no, three clowns and one guy who was Oh my god. <laughs> Luckily the attractive one was revived. <laughs> he was living a happy life. And his name is Morgan Adam. <laughs> Friendship groups on YouTube have always been a really tricky thing. We've seen so many of these groups come and go, and it always ends in tons of drama. Despite the failure rate of these friendship groups being so high, time and time again, creators get into them, mainly because the payoff is also high. James Charles soared in popularity during his time in the Sister Squad. David Dobrik built his entire career off of his friendships. Trisha had her whole redemption arc thanks to her friendship with Ethan and frenemies. People love a good friendship group. Which is why I think Shane's best era on YouTube was his spooky era with Garrett, Andrew, Morgan, and Ryland. Before Shane started doing the whole documentary thing, he was doing these collab videos with his friends. We had videos like ghost hunting in a haunted ship with nearly 30 million views, ghost hunting in a haunted toy store with 18 million views, and then we have his travel series, which has a combined 100 million views. These were truly some of Shane's best videos ever. He saw so much growth and people loved the dynamic that they all had with each other. I think it was the combination of the spooky ghost hunting videos, as well as the genuine friendship that they all seemed to have. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, this era was short-lived. Eventually, TanaCon came around, and after the success that Shane saw with that whole series, it really pushed him to focus on documentary-type videos. Now, don't get me wrong, at the time, these videos were great. Everyone always looked forward to Shane's next series, and the production of these videos was top-notch. The only really bad thing about it was Garrett and Morgan were getting less and less screen time on Shane's channel. Luckily, we still had Andrew here and there since he was the cameraman, but it just wasn't the same. Shane was in a full-blown friendship and business relationship with Jeffrey, and everything changed. He was focused on the beauty community, putting out the beauty series, and getting himself in the middle of your typical beauty guru drama. The vibe was just different. It was still good for a little bit, and everyone seemed to love it at the time, it was just different. Even though things were changing and Shane was growing closer with Jeffrey, he was very much still friends with Garrett. Garrett still popped up here and there in videos with Shane and Jeffrey, Andrew was still producing Shane's videos with him, and he even got his own merch line with the Conspiracy Collection. But that's when things started to go downhill. The launch of the Conspiracy Collection, combined with all the new eyes on Shane's channel from the documentary, led to people digging into Shane's past and bringing to light a lot of his problematic past content. This is when Garrett and Andrew seemed to completely distance themselves from Shane and Ryland, and you really can't blame them. Shane took over a year off, he wasn't posting, which means Andrew had no content to film and produce, Garrett wasn't being featured in any of his videos because there were none, and there was also this huge pressure on Shane's friends and family to release statements about Shane's behavior. Anyone who was associated with Shane got tons of backlash like Rylan and Morgan, so I think things were probably feeling a little bit intense for Andrew and Garrett. A lot of people were wondering if Andrew and Garrett cut ties with Shane for good, and then and Trisha pretty much confirmed it. In the middle of all of this mess, Trisha and Jeffrey had this huge falling out and she revealed that Shane was no longer friends with Garrett or Andrew. Over the years, he's always like fed me stuff, right? Like he's always fed me things like stuff that I, I wouldn't know or care about, but gets me like riled up. Like for instance, stuff he said about Garrett and, and Drew and um, like Andrew. Like and even said that Shane was apparently talking behind Garrett and Andrew's back to her. You guys don't hear this, but he never, it's always the other person. He's falling out with Andrew, he's falling out with Drew, Garrett. Um, it's always like the other person, all his other friends before. It's always something they did. Garrett and Andrew never came out and actually admitted to not being friends with Shane or anything, but it was pretty obvious. 
At the very least, people knew that Andrew would probably have to move on from Shane since he wasn't posting and either take work with someone else or start his own thing. And that's exactly what happened. In October of 2022, Andrew and Garrett announced their joint podcast called Sweet Boys. Now, let me tell you about Sweet Boys. This podcast was truly gold. It was so easy to listen to. It was relaxing, wholesome. It was just two friends talking about the most random topics and really enjoying each other's company. I don't eat a lot of Oreos, so I don't know. I, I, Oreos aren't my go-to thing. I'm more of a Cheez-Its guy. But yeah. Andrew, I, I don't know. It, it, can you just try the golden part and see if it tastes like glazed donut or if it tastes like, uh, oh, he's doing the whole thing. I always, I always sniff my oh, food. I love sniffing. Isn't. Smells... The podcast lasted 23 episodes with the promise of returning for season two in the near future. Unfortunately for the fans, it's now been over a year and the Sweet Boys still haven't returned. Their comment section is filled with people wondering where they went and asking if they could at least release a statement about the future of the podcast. I wish we would get an update at some point via a quick tweet or whatever. Seven months is a really long break and it kind of feels like this project is over. I can't believe they ghosted us. Okay, it's been almost 12 months. Are we going to get an update? We all miss you so much. I'm so confused. They said they were going to take a break and they just disappeared. Then, only a few months after the ending of The Sweet Boys, Shane made his return to the internet. A lot of people were wondering if Andrew was still going to be his cameraman and maybe that's why they weren't posting a podcast, but it wasn't. Shane now has a new cameraman named Chris and that confirmed what people have been wondering all along. Shane has never addressed Andrew or Garrett, which is honestly pretty strange, especially when it comes to Andrew. Andrew was such a huge part of Shane's videos, and for Shane to switch and not address why kind of confirms that maybe it didn't end on the best terms. Shane has also followed in the podcast footsteps and launched his very own show called The Shane Dawson Podcast. The podcast features Chris, Shane's brother, Ryland, and of course, Shane. In a recent episode, the topic of friends was actually brought up and Shane admitted that he no longer has that many friends. I kind of feel that way at the moment too. Like, I don't, I wouldn't say I have many friends. <laughs> I was gonna say this is getting dark. It's hard to make friends the older you get, like yeah. real friends and in LA. <laughs> Yeah, like I had a moment where I had a lot of friends. Like I'd say every five years, I'll kind of have a group of friends and then, you know, life changes and stuff and you get into a different relationship and, and all those things. Um, and it's not always dramatic. It just kind of is what it is. And I'd say right now is definitely a weird point where like, I don't know. Well, I mean, I don't it's go not anywhere. really fair because our li I mean, our lives were flipped upside down. So it I think though by... Uh so I think it's safe to assume that Garrett and Andrew are completely out of the picture. They've moved on, they're doing fine without Shane, and Andrew actually just announced his comeback with Garrett. He released a statement on Twitter which says, Pardon my absence as I was embracing my first true hiatus from staring at screens and cooking up content since moving to LA. Upon feeling refreshed, I had several conversations with my close friend and longtime collaborator Garrett Watts about being recruited to officially join him full time crafting content for his creative universe. I'm stoked to say that I will now serve as a producer, cameraman, and editor for Garrett's YouTube channel and all things Garrett Watts related. I look forward to being on board and literally doubling the size of Garrett's creative team in the process. Much love and much content to come, Andrew. And Garrett actually confirmed the news by writing, I need the help and I love this boy right here and we're about to have a lot of fun. So it sounds like Andrew is going to be doing for Garrett what he used to do for Shane. Garrett actually just announced their next video together and it looks like it's going to be a spooky series called Haunted Apartment. Andrew, you know that haunted building, the apartment building that I've been obsessed with for five years oh, now? Oh, yes. Dude, this is crazy. I got an apartment in the building. What? I mean, are we like literally, what is that? Wait, wait. 
about you guys, but I'm so excited for this. The haunted stuff that Shane used to do with Garrett and Andrew was truly some of the best videos ever. Even though it was supposed to be scary, Garrett always managed to make it lighthearted and funny at the same time, and I'm just really excited to see what they do with their content. Judging by the comments, everyone is so excited for what's to come. Here's what people had to say. And just like that, my life is making sense again. Yes, please give us some spooky boys content. Was literally just thinking about you and Garrett today. So happy to hear this news. Now, so far, there isn't any news on whether or not the Sweet Boys is coming back, but right now, people are just happy that they're at least getting something from them. As for Shane, it looks like he hasn't commented or congratulated them on their new business venture together, and something tells me he probably won't. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Do you think Andrew and Garrett had a falling out with Shane? And are you excited for Andrew and Garrett to officially be working together again? Let me know, and I'll see you next time.